All right, welcome to the first uh, tiny toot. This is uh, set extensions, or another way to put it would be simple white room extensions. I like shooting on white, um, but I don't have a white room, and sometimes I, I got to be portable. What I do have is a 10 foot roll of paper, which you can see in the background here. And so I'm going to show you today how to go from this to this. Then we're going to look at how to go from this to that. My goal is to keep this short, so I'm just going to jump right in, like I do. This is from a project I shot a while ago in a tiny, tiny 10 by 10 room. Um, I lit this with two Kino flows. You can sort of see in the corner here, there's the, the corner of a four bank Kino, and that was pointed at the background. Um, and then what you can't see off to the right, there's another Kino four bank that was lighting our subject. The key to pulling this off is lighting the background is as evenly as possible. So I've got my footage in a comp here, an After Effects comp, and this is pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to draw a garbage mask. Garbage mask drawing music there. Now this guy doesn't move much, which makes our job pretty simple. Oh, I should probably mention that he's not really wearing sunglasses. I just tracked those in so he could be sort of, you know, discreet. Okay, now we need to make a background. So let's create a new layer. BG, background. And then I'm going to open up my effects here and apply a ramp to that. Pull it underneath my footage. So you can see that this tone up here is a different tone than down here, which is great because it, it helps cement the person into the space. So I'm going to select start of ramp. Let me turn this on. So we'll select a color up here and then a color down here to end ramp. And you can see we're, we're close already. Obviously you can still see the edges of this mask, but a little feathering ought to do the trick. So I'm going to hit F for feather, and I'm going to unlink the feather because I want to feather them separately. So a little horizontal. Yep. Yep. Maybe a little vertical. Yep. We're pretty much done. Now the, the brilliant part about this is grab his sunglasses. Now I can move him around because he's essentially in this uh, white space netherland. You know, we can move him camera left, camera right. I'm not sure why I'd put him over here, but maybe I wanted to like awesome text. <laughs> Brush script? I don't know how that got up there. Ooh, quick, change it, change it. Bad font karma. Ariel. Oh, even worse. Okay. Let's say we were doing something like that, maybe. Okay, so that's pretty simple. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, the reason that worked so well is because the background was lit really well. Now, this other example here that I have for you, the background was not lit very well. As you can see, we have some shadows down here, her shadows up here. It's kind of bright right here. Um, so we got a little more work cut out for ourselves on this one. Uh, okay, for this footage, uh, you may recognize this. It's from a little project I shot. It's been a few months now. Um, again, the 10 foot, the 10 foot white paper which you can get, you can buy online. There's a place that sells it for like a hundred bucks. They'll ship it to you. Um, and then some tile board, some shiny tile board. I've got a big reflective umbrella in the front. I've got two Kinos, two Kino four banks in the back. They're kind of pointed at her. They're sort of spilling onto the background as well. She's got a hair light. Um, that's our lighting setup. Ultimately, I needed a bigger space, but I didn't have a bigger space, so it it's turned into one of those fix it and post deals, which we are going to do right now. First thing I want to do with this footage is add a little curves adjustment layer 
to bring the whites up a little bit so I can match them better. So add a little contrast. Okay, so let's just use the same technique that we did on the last clip and see what happens. So garbage mask on the footage and I'm gonna make it a little bigger here because I know she moves around a bit. Okay, now we need a background. So a uh, new layer, BG background, drop it underneath. You can see already I'm in trouble because there are multiple, multiple luminance values all over this background. But let's try this. Let's select here. Let's select right about there. And then try to feather it. Um, obviously we got issues. I've got this dark shadow down here. It's not really lining up over here. This isn't a case of being able to simply feather it away. So here's my trick. I am going to, let's call this foreground, duplicate the layer, background, left. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section of the background and I'm going to stretch it out horizontally to where it reaches the end of the frame. Now before I do that, you got to move the um, anchor point to the point that you want this stretch to start. This layer will scale from the anchor point. So to move the anchor point, use the pan behind tool, you can move it around. Now if I scale only horizontally to the end, all of a sudden I've got the rest of my set and that mask I drew we can feather it a little bit now the nice thing about this is that her shadow goes all the way to the edge of the frame so it's it's much more realistic I'm gonna do the same thing to the left background sorry that was the right Ooh, I mislabeled that. So this would be left, and this would be... Okay, so I want to take from right about here and just scale that over. So let me just draw a mask right there, and then use our pan behind tool to move the anchor point and take it out until, until it's to the edge. Give it a little tiny feather and turn the right side back on. Suddenly, we have a full set, including this big, ugly shadow, which we'll take care of in a second. Before I do that, I want to add a little blur to each of these to kind of help those elongated um, shadows fade soften them a little bit let's just do fast blur there you go see that same thing over here okay the last thing i'm going to do and this isn't really part of the set extension but uh i'm going to try to get rid of that shadow a little bit so let's find a good frame here there we go um simple adjustment layer ought to do the trick let's just draw a mask around where that was Um, turn it into an adjustment layer, add curves, bring up the value a little bit, in the midtones. Obviously, it's got to be feathered. We're all about feathering here. Looking slightly better. You know, there are really just certain things you can't fix. Oh, that that helped. Let's watch this back. See how her shadow goes all the way out on either side? 
That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So um, the moral of the story here is light your background correctly so that you can do um, set extensions a lot easier. If you get stuck, try scaling the background. Try scaling the background to the, to the edge of the frame and that should give you a seamless look. And you can do this, I, I like it with white, you can do this with gray, with blue, with red. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.